Hey friends, hello and welcome back to pen and papers. I am back with one more demonstrator pen today. Again by a Japanese manufacturer. A few days ago I had reviewed Sailor Compass which was again a demonstrator. Uh, this pen is in same range and in the same lid. So let's try and do the review of this pen. I have intentionally left the converter of this pen empty. So while shooting the video we'll also fill it up and we'll see how it works the converter is something special for this pen so let's start uh, this is platinum balance or also known as platinum student in some parts i guess uh, this is a clear demonstrator pen it's an injection molded plastic cap injection molded barrel and uh, nothing too fancy about this pen a bit stiff clip but very functional and then it's written made in japan over here and some some specifications of this pen i guess and it's a fine nib so it's f is written over here it's a torpedo shape pen nothing on the finial except this groove over here which is covered by some some sort of plastic insert nothing at the bottom just this oh, probably again a groove which is covered by a plastic part and uh, this is the pen the cap has platinum written on it so as you can see the cap has platinum written over it platinum and then it's written japan platinum so that's what what is written on the cap and then the cap has this steel band around it uh, for majority of the caps this steel band is there to protect it from uh, sudden break breaking or something like that so this is about the structure and construction of pen once it's a snap cap pen once you uncap it then this is a pretty straight section uh, comparable with frisbee wax 700r comes with this steel nib and uh, this is p written over here and there's something written over here but i'm not able to read it it's probably fine in japanese and uh, this nib looks very similar to that of uh, Lamy and uh, nibs. This is also a very easily removable nib. As you can see, that's this. You can simply remove this nib very, very easily. The fade is made up of transparent plastic. Since the pen was inked with blue ink, it has turned dark blue. But otherwise, it is... Uh, transparent you can actually see through the feed if the pen is not in again you can see uh, this fade right through the grip section you can see the fade the barrel is attached to the grip section via this metal part this metal part connects the grip section and the barrel it's a very well built metal part probably stainless steel but i'm not sure you can also unscrew it with a bit of force you can unscrew it and remove it i'll just remove the converter first we'll talk about the converter just in a bit so you can remove this it's a very solidly built metal part and then there is this nib assembly you can simply push it it's very easy to clean pen basically i'll again attach it if you're not able to take this apart don't force it it might break the grip section in my pen it it easily came off so i took it off now let's talk about the converter here platinum uses proprietary converters so uh, standard international converters and other converters 
won't fit into this pen it takes proprietary converters some of them are very expensive this is around 800 rupees or around 7 to 8 dollars it has this piston mechanism inside as you can see but again this is also very easy to disassemble you can simply remove this part by unscrewing it and take 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 apart the assembly and clean it i'll again screw it back very functional converter very well made i wanted some converter in a con contrast color so i bought the golden one but silver one is also available and that will go probably uh, better with this pen so let's fill it up so it previously it was inked with seller blue ink if you have not tried this ink it's a very good ink it's a dye based ink by seller and very uh, affordable too so let's fill it up you dip it in the bottle rotate it clockwise and now the converter is fully converter is fully filled and we are good to go let's clean it up with the tissue so we have cleaned the converter now you can also do it by dipping the nib inside the sink but i don't do it usually since we use lot of inks in the pen uh, i'm always afraid of you know cont contaminating the ink so it's fitted inside the pen now japanese fines are like uh, your they like more like uh, european extra fines so uh, let's see the size comparison of this pen this is platinum balance as i said this is gina 86 this is kaweco student this is seller compass and uh, this is gina 100 so as you can see it's a standard size pen not too long not too short either these two are on a bit short side so uh, it's longer than these two however it is comparable with other standard size pens the grip is very comfortable to hold in your hand you can have longer writing sessions with this pen let's see how much does this pen weigh the name perfectly describes this pen it is very well balanced even if you post it it won't be back heavy or anything so it weighs 24 grams inked and capped uncapped it weighs around 19 grams so very well balanced the cap posts very securely and it doesn't come off easily and even if you post the cap the pen doesn't become back heavy now let's look at the writing sample so the first paper that we have here for writing sample is tomoe river since the pen was uncapped for a while it skipped but it doesn't skip and it also uh, comes with this claim from platinum that this pen won't dry uh, for months even if you keep it unused writes really really well very smooth the nib is uh, more like european extra fine as i said in case seller blue and I, i have been using this pen for at least 3 years now and it has been a fabulous writer let's write on another paper so the other paper that i have here is rodia dot pad 
so let's try it on rodia dot pad paper is rodia dot pad for a fine nib this nib is exceptional reverse writing is possible however if you are expecting any kind of flex from this nib you are not going to get it but if you want a reliable workhorse pen then this is it even if you go with the platinum converters those are pretty good too the pen costs around uh, 3000 3500 here in india uh, if you but you can get a decent discount on and above the price which is uh, mentioned so uh, try to get that and if you can get it in a good price this is a very good pen there are few things that i uh, i would like to change with this pen if if i get the chance first is this cap could have been transparent that would have made a lot of difference in the aesthetics of this pen the other thing is here it is metal over plastic so uh, in long run i i am afraid that this barrel might get a, develop a crack or something so that's the only thing that i uh, would like to change about this pen otherwise this pen is very good a good writer decent writer so if you if you want a reliable writer then you should get it you should definitely get this pen so that's all folks thank you for your support thank you for your comments suggestions they are always welcome uh, if you have liked this video please like share and subscribe also check out my other videos and let me know in the comment section if you like them or not thank you so much bye bye